Aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from December 7th to the 13th. I hope that you're all doing well. Yes, I'm back. I took some few days off last week and I think everybody on the planet is feeling a lot of, uh, you know, sleepiness, dizziness, uh, headaches. And so for me, it was sleeping. <laughs> and so I slept and slept and slept. <laughs> I never slept so much in my life anyway, but I'm glad I'm back. So I do want to mention, because there's a lot of new subscribers here on my channel, that I am a psychic medium. I'm active in my community for 25 to 26 years, going on 26 years. And I channel messages from my higher self and the divine. And I use the cards as a tool to, uh, to relay the messages. I don't need the cards to, but this is what I choose to do on YouTube. And I also want to also a big thank you for the, my community of friends, family, soul, soul family, uh, that uh, have been with me, uh, uh, you know, supporting me uh, through my passion. And I want to thank my community and here on YouTube for the support, for letting me come here and share my gift with you. So I will, uh, because I've been getting a lot of messages uh, over about, uh, you know, where do I get this? How can I get this? How do I do this? And I'm figuring that people are not watching the beginning of the reading, and which is very, very important. Because this is where I tell you everything and I'm not going to repeat it while I'm doing the reading. So I will go down, just tell you what's underneath the video. Underneath the video, there's two links to get crystals. One at 10% off, one at 11% off. Okay. The second, you're going to see the weekly schedule plus uh, uh, the, the all signs that I do on the weekend will be there. Uh, for those of you that, because uh, I am recommending healers out there. So for those of you that have Mark. I know a lot of you love Mark out there. You're giving me great, great, great rates on Mark. Uh, so Mark, you know, is a healer. Is If you want his email address, it's underneath the video. So you contact him directly. You don't have to come to me. You go straight to him. Uh, he also does past life regressions as well and so many things. He has a website that he will guide you to if you want to see the website. There's also Jenny, my beautiful Jenny sister. Uh, she is amazing. Uh, she's also a healer herself. And she has many other things that she does. And also she has an advanced chart for people that are in the, on the Ascension. So for those of you that are interested, Jenny. Yes, thank you, Jenny, for everything anyway. And Mark as well. Um, as well, there's um, that I really love is Abigail Wayne Wright. She is on YouTube. You know, maybe go support her channel as well. Also Jenny's channel. Uh, and uh, she does activations, healings uh, with light language. I love her to death. She's amazing. And uh, also um, Steve Noble. You know, so these are my recommendations, of course. Uh, and uh, now a lot of you ask me all the time, Patricia, where do you get your lipstick? We love your lipstick. And uh, I'm getting a lot of messages about that. And I have a good friend of mine, Soul Sister, that lives in my neighborhood. She's a makeup artist. She is on YouTube as well, if you want to see how she make, she does makeup. Uh, but she made her own line, and, uh, she, you know, and I'm so happy for her. She has a lot of beautiful shades on there. And uh, so if those of you that are interested in getting lipsticks or any type of makeup that you like, go check her website. And when you go to checkout, you have to put Patrizia at 15% off. You get 15% off with my name. For those of you that are interested and the, the prices are not that expensive anyway so thumbs up on that uh, for those of you that want to write to me uh there's a PO, i have a p.o box number for those of you that want to donate there's a link underneath the video and one in the about section and i'm also going to put it on my facebook group which i just i, I want to talk to you about right now is i do have a facebook group there on facebook where you could follow me and join the group well i'm going to start coming live uh, talking to all of you uh, questions whatever reading questions we'll have we'll have fun uh, but you need to join the facebook group okay and uh so there's a link that will connect you to that also to my social media my mom sends you all her love and says that she's still praying for you three times a day and for the collective so if there's any messages that you want to relate to her to leave them underneath the com uh, leave them in the comments below and uh, for okay, and I do want to say one more thing, fast, fast. For those of you that are uh, writing to me about readings, personal readings, I can only take one to two personal readings per weekend, and it won't be every weekend. Okay, there's times I will be able to, or depending, 
you know, because I do have a big family, you know, so sometimes things come up and I can't, right? Or there's something that happens. So what I'm going to tell you here is that um, I go through the email from the beginning. So from the beginning, I'll go with one person and I'll go to the next person, to the next person. And I'm not going to skip anyone. I'm just going to go through. And it might take a month to two months before I reach out to you. So please, please have patience and bear with me, okay? And uh, that's it. So let's get started with your uh, with your reading. First and foremost, I have the singing bowl here. And I'm going to invoke uh, Metatron to come here with the sun grid of light, love, and protection of the Holy Spirit. Mother Gaia to sustain the reading and the healing. I'm also going to invoke Archangel um, Uriel to clear my space and yours, energy and space. Archangel Raphael to send healing energy for those that want to embrace it. Archangel Michael for a breakthrough. And last but not least, Archangel, Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with intentions. So let's get started. So excited to be back. This is Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space and yours. Breathe it in. Archangel Raphael for healing energy for those of you that want to embrace. Say, I embrace. Angel Michael for a breakthrough. And last but not least, Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with love, peace, kindness, humility, and protection. Perfect. All righty, put this over here, and let's get started with your affirmations. Let us see what your affirmation is, Aquarius, from December third to the thirteenth. No, December 7th to the 13th. Did I say that they're not? Um, sorry, December 7th to the 13th. <laughs> I knew I made a mistake there. <clears throat> okay, your affirmation is Aquarius. Success. Jim and I had this card too. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. I know that there is no greater goal to, than to love. Success. Now, let's look at Mother Gaia or Gaia Oracle. For some of you, this will be a confirmation. For others of you, this is going to show me where you were, where you're at, what's coming, and what's the, what's coming towards you. And Mother Gaia always supports, nurtures, and guides you, and says that uh, she has her back, your back as well. And that anything that you are going through that is a hard time right now, know that there's some, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. This is for Aquarius. What's happening for my Aquarians here? One card, two, and three. Okay, let's see the cards you got. So there's healing taking place for you at this time, and it's about you returning to your true self. Okay, so it's about reconnecting with your true self, your heart chakra opening. Next card you got is Ocean of Eternal Love, Healing, Creativity, and Fertility. This is like the Empress Energy. A lot of beautiful energy here that's taking place. And it might be taking place also for December 14th, 2020, with the full moon, uh, lunar eclipse in Cancer energy. Uh, and, and then you got, last but not least, achievement. Keep focused on your dream, Aquarius. Keep focused on your dream. Beautiful. Now let's get started with your reading. So this reading is for Aquarius Sun. Anywhere you have Aquarius in your chart is your reading. Anytime you see this is the right time. If the reading resonates, 
then claim it without a doubt. If it does not resonate, it's confusing, it doesn't feel like it's you, and you're not getting it, then that means that you, it could also mean that you're not in your sun sign this week. So check your rising, your moon, Venus, Mercury, and North Node. Moon is about emotions, Venus is about love and finances, and, um, and Mercury is about communication, of course, and the North Node is about soul purpose, your mission, and so forth. So now I'm going to show you where you're at, what's crossing you, what spirit wants you to focus on, your recent past, what's crowning you, your immediate future, something that's hidden from you, and the uh, outcome. I will clarify, clarify the cards that I'm supposed to be clarifying, and then at the end of that I will give you a crystal card. I will give you a romance card and an Archangel Michael card. So I do hope that you stay with me till the end. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Four Aquarius, December 7th. Okay. Little, no, okay. Alrighty. Let's see what's going on here. Cards, you guys want to talk, huh? Cards want to talk to me. I could, I could feel them. They want to just pop out. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Hold on a second. Just Okay, uh, overall energy is the Four of Swords reversed, coming out of a place where you've been doing a lot of healing. Um, you've been healing your heart, your mind, cutting people or situations out of your life here, and you're coming out of it. The Ace of Swords, where you're at, maybe there's no communication, not seeing something very clearly, <coughs> little to no communication that's taking place. It could also be someone that's reluctant to speak up as well. Um, what's crossing you is the page of swords. So there is some type of energy like communicating, not communicating, not wanting to communicate. There's reluctancy here. It could be uh, also a death, uh, a death or rebirth type took place where there was an ending of a relationship and maybe there's also like a re a resurrection. Uh, that's what I'm picking up for some of you. Uh, someone watching you on social media, a lot of creative ideas taking place as well in other areas of your life. And what Spirit wants you to focus on is this Three of Pentacles reverse. Uh, something that was really stable. Could have been a marriage for some of you. Or a relationship. Or it could be work. Something that was stable right now is not stable at this time. You're looking for other creative ideas. If this has to do with work. Where uh, there's no strong foundation that's taking place. Or whatever the situation is. Remember Aquarius. I could be talking to you. I could be talking to... Uh, I feel that there's a... Sh okay. Let me see. Okay, I could be talking to you, sorry, or I could be talking to vice versa, someone else, or a cross-watcher. In the recent past, you got the Six of Wands energy where there was recognition and reward and something very successful, your person, victory. What's crowning you is the Ace of Wands. This talks about where it's uh, an expansion of, of passion in every area, every area of your life. In the immediate future, you got the Ten of Pentacles. This could talk about stability in a business, in a relationship, or whatever the situation is here. This is about stability. It could be about, uh, you know, um, buying a home. So it could also be about buying a home as well, caring for others. But there's uh, the Ten of Pentacles, unexpected money. It could be inheritance money as well. What's supporting you is the Six of Swords energy. This talks about that you're going through a transition at this time. Maybe that's why you're not seeing things clearly. Um, and it talks about some of you relocation or moving what is hidden from you is this king of cups energy it could be a cancer scorpio pisces it doesn't have to be that sign but this is someone that's emotionally available and is able to express themselves the hopes and fears with uh, the first card uh, the ace of uh, swords reverse talks about someone not going within or someone that chose a someone that was at a cross path and chose a direction and the outcome is the eight of swords where you're stuck in your mind there's something that you're stuck, you're feeling stuck in your mind about a situation. Okay, now let's clarify some cards here and see what's going on here for you. Okay, we'll start with the Ace of Swords reversed. Let's see why this card is reversed. And let's... Okay. 
Why is the Ace of Swords reversed here for Aquarius? The Eight of Cups, Chariot Energy, and the Ten of Cups. Followed by this. Okay. I see someone that's angry. It could be you. Or a person that's very detached at this time. Someone that you cut out. Someone that cut you out. I don't know. It just feels that there's no communication here. Not seeing something clearly here. And it's about walking away from a situation. Someone walked away from a situation maybe uh, because uh, I'll, I'll find out more about it there. But someone did walk away from a situation. But what they're also showing me is that um, some of you are leaving some, maybe left something behind. We'll see as we go along. But I do have that uh, some of you need to take control of a situation. Okay. Um, if let's say this is you that walked away from a situation, you're still stuck in your head about the situation. Okay. There is... But for others of you, uh, you got the Ten of Cups energy with the Chariot. So it's, it talks about where you're going to take control of your life, whatever situation, and you're going to move forward. Even though that you know the road ahead of you won't be like perfect, it'll be bumpy, curveballs. You are going to be strong enough to, with, to go through it. And the Ten of Cups energy talks about a soulmate energy. Okay, there is a soulmate here. Soulmate energy it could be a start of a new relationship that's taking place for you some for some of you this can also take place in june july of 2021 but it's about moving forward in that direction okay maybe you're going towards a cancer here there's cancer energy here up to now i have this cancer yeah up to now i just have cancer on the floor so now let's look at this uh page of swords of what's crossing you why is this page of sword eight of pentacles so I got the Queen of Cups and I got the King of Cups. So, so there is an energy of love here in a, in a couple or in a situation. The three of uh, the three of Swords energy and the high the high priestess. Okay, so there's healing that needs to be done. There's some type of healing that still needs to be done. There's a heartbreak here. Okay, and um, it's because I feel like someone's not communicating or there's no, but they're thinking about you, but just they're just not communicating. Um, and uh, there's still heartbreak here in the situation, but it's getting better. But there's a heartbreak. Whatever that you're working on, and I do feel if this has to do with your work or it has to do with yourself you uh, or your uh, spiritual abilities, you're going to be okay because you're going to go to a higher level. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. It doesn't have to be the sign. But whatever it is that you're working on, whatever you're putting energy on and healing, you are going to get there. And you need to trust your intuition, okay? You need to trust your intuition. Now, let's look at the Three of Pentacles and why it's reversed. You've got this Moon card. Okay, so there's a lot of fears or there was a lot of fears in this situation. A lot of, uh, this, this, maybe there was deceptions, uh, uh, illusions, something that you couldn't see. Uh, you were dark. It, you were in a dark passage. This is about having a lot of fears here. And, and going through a very difficult moment. This is Neptune and Pisces energy. Maybe you're dealing with a Piscean energy. Um, so you're trying to release that. Okay. So you're being pulled in two different directions. And trying to balance something. You're trying to balance something in your life. Okay. This is what I'm sh being shown uh, you're trying to, you're somehow there's something that broke down with the three of pentacles, whatever it was. Okay. For you, there was a lot of fear around the situation. This is Neptune energy and, uh, there's a, there's a need to be grounded. Okay. Maybe there's some type of like balance you're trying to bring or some type of something has to be dropped here for something to work. Okay. And a lot of you have been manifesting and it shows that you've been working on yourselves. Maybe the person with the three of swords is someone that you're dealing with that is uh, still, uh, heartbroken. But what I see here is with the Queen of Wands, it doesn't matter if you're not like a fire sign. Okay, this talks about you being creative, you being strong, you going out there, being truthful, being generous. And it's about, uh, you know, being independent and you've been working on yourself and you've been working on your manifestations here. Okay, so there's a lot of manifestations that are taking place going to an extra level because with the Aerophant, this talks about, you know, uh, learning your life lessons and hitting another paradigm shift okay but it also talks about marriage it could be a marriage here too so let's look at the ace of wands uh what is crowning you at this time this is where they're directing me so let's look at the ace of wands energy you got the nine of cups reversed Ten of Swords, the Tower, Reverse, the Six. Okay. Whew. Heavy energy. Hold on. Let me just drink. 
Mm, okay. All right. Something is coming to fruition for you. There's a wish fulfillment here that's going to be revealed. There was an ending of a difficult situation. Pluto came in. There was some type of unexpected change, but this was karmic and this was long time. Okay. This is karmic things that took place release okay and the 10 becomes a one and so there's something that took place here where you have to do a lot of work on yourself and heal okay um and passion will be restored in every area of your life because you're bringing something into balance here you're bringing something into balance and there is some type if it's work or love there's someone coming in for you they're taking their time but they're coming in all right Taurus, Virgo, or capricorn it doesn't have to be that sign but I'm just putting the sign out there, okay? But the, what I do see is whatever you give, you're going to be receiving. Now, let's look at the Ten of Pentacles here. In, so, oh my God. You got the Four of Swords, you got the Hangman, and you got the Sun card. Oh my God. <laughs> right, okay, and the reason why I say that is because when you get the Ten of Pentacles with the Sun card, this talks about abundance, Aquarius. Abundance, epiphanies good vibes positive vibes it's like the sun is going to bring you to a place that you've never been or or whatever the situation is this could also be a soulmate energy here there's proposal there is a proposal here okay and uh there's a need to surrender there's a need to surrender to this energy if you want to surrender to it there's a lot of healing with this energy there's a lot of healing that took place here and uh, it's about having courage, having confidence, okay, in yourself and going forward. And maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo. Now, let's look at the Six of Swords and what's supporting you right now. I just saw 2121. I don't know if it means something for someone out there. Hold on here. Let's look at the Six of Swords. You've got Page of Wands. Five of Swords. Okay. So over here, if we go back to the first cards where there is the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Cups energy here. Okay. There was something that took place here. Could have been a relationship. Something here that took place that was not in the in divine timing. Okay. It was not in divine timing. And there was a lot of lies here, maybe deception and Someone decided to stand up for themselves. And uh, so what I do see here is someone like the King of Wands energy, someone going after what they want. They know what they want and they're going after it. And this is what's taking place for this, uh, you taking control and with this Ten of Cups energy. Now let's look at this King of Cups and what is not being revealed to you. Okay, six, okay. So you got the six of, okay, the cards are just flying. This is very nice, Aquarius. I'm very happy to see this for you, okay? Um, and I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, so this King of Cups energy is like this King of Pentacles energy here, okay? Uh, successful, grounded, family-oriented. Okay, uh, I said political, but I don't know why I said political. Maybe he's in politics. I don't know. Uh, but what I'm picking up is someone that is, uh, you know, very reliable in security. And um, there's going to be success, recognition and success. Maybe it's someone that's successful that's coming in here. And there's going to be like an offering, some type of stability that's taking place here. And you're going to overcome the situation or you already are going to be overcoming a situation here that you've been having a lot of energy uh, that's been like blocking you. Now, let's look at the Seven of Pentacles reversed in the Hopes and Fears. We got here the Six of Swords again. Okay, this is about relocating, moving, or it could be again a transition that you're going through a from a dark place or a difficult place to a better place. The Six of Cups reversed. The Two of Swords and the Ace of Cups. It's about opening... Your heart to unconditional love. That's all this has to do with. Uh, I feel like both of you are going through something here. Uh, there's a there's going to be like an epiphany or a, re a realization or an awakening. It's about opening your heart chakra to unconditional love. This is true love. Yes, you're going to feel <clears throat> whatever this is. <clears throat> 
it's true it's true and it's real love this is what i'm seeing okay and i'm really feeling it to the core it's what a beautiful energy to be in now let's look at this eight of swords uh, aquarius some of you are, are here are aquarius moon aquarius moon are here but i feel that you are like or you're a cancer and you have aquarius moon you could also be a scorpion a leo okay let's look at this eight of swords energy The three of wands energy. Waiting. Some of you are waiting upon this. We're forging ahead. Yes. Okay. Scorpion energy. Okay. Uh, some of you are waiting for someone. For others of you, can also mean if you're not waiting for someone, it's that you're, there's a faith being restored and seeing the signs coming in and knowing that your ships are coming in, whether it's love, money, it's health. Uh, whatever situation these are long-term plans and some of you are dealing with a scorpio energy uh there's a death and rebirth and resurrection that's taking place here there could be an ending of a situation of a relationship and a new one coming in for you right away yes that could happen as well patience is needed and there's healing and balance that is coming in for you and you're forging ahead you're still forging ahead and you're feeling that uh this uh this nine of uh, uh, wands where you've been through a lot and you're still you're gonna move forward like with conviction let me just take out one more card for the nine of wands yeah because of this whatever that was that was unstable here okay that whatever that was that was unstable because there is some type of i feel that there's still unfinished business for you now let's look at the four swords reversed here okay you got the star card start hey you just came into your own reading look at that my beautiful aquarians it's about wishing upon that star. You wished upon something that you really wanted. And this is faith and hope being restored into you. And it's about blessings and healings that are taking place here. And it's about balancing too, right? <clears throat> it might take place around your birthday energy. There's a birth when your birthdays are coming up. <clears throat> it's about taking your time before you make that first step. You're not going to just jump into stuff anymore, okay? Because... Um, because there is something coming destined to you but the truth needs to come out first there's some type of truth that needs to come out because there was someone that was withholding information from you okay whether it's you or them i don't know the situation okay i could just tell you that there's someone that needs to speak the truth here it needs to come in with their integrity something is trying to balance itself because for this is something that was destined but someone has to speak their truth and so at this at, at this time there will not be a new beginning okay it will be very thought like a slow process but i do see that something will come in here with the star card okay maybe you're dealing with another aquarius here because someone does feel left out of a situation it could be la lack of money not thinking having enough not wanting to get help they have help if they want but they aren't they're not going in that direction what i do see is that there's some type of communication that's not taking place here okay but there will be some some unexpected message coming in out of the blue some of you your mom there's a lot of confusion in the situation here. You're, you're trying to sort out your feelings. Uh, it's about releasing that and go seeing that uh, what took place, why it took place. And um, it's about seeing the silver lining and trying to change your perspective. It's about forgiveness because whatever you were dealing with, whether if it's addiction, drugs, someone that you're bonded to, uh, uh, toxic people or situations here, there was someone, t there was some type of toxic. This is also a breakthrough. And I do see a break or some type of break that took place here where there's going to be healing. Some of you are just concentrating. Um, you're not sleeping at night a lot. You know, there's a lot of fears uh, and uh, insomnia at this time. But all this will pass. But what I do see is beautiful things coming for you. Remember the beautiful things that are coming for you, Aquarius. Okay. So now let's take out a crystal card for you. This is for Aquarius from December 7th to the 13th. You got two cards that came out first one is red jasper take action and the next one is moonstone live your purpose take action and live your purpose aquarius you can use these uh, stones or crystals for as long as you want 
Now let's look at um, the Romance Angels. I usually take up uh, six cards. Okay, so I'm going to take out six cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One more card for Aquarius, please. Playfulness. Okay, so let me look at the cards here. So there is some type of uncruited, unrecruited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. But then you also got chemistry here. There is a strong magnetic uh, attraction. This can mean that maybe some of you are feeling that you are the one. Maybe you're feeling it that you're the that there is and the other person isn't. Okay, but there's a. I'm gonna take another card out for this. Okay, what I do see here is that there could be a wedding or an engagement. So there could be like let's say you're totally single, Aquarius. There could be someone coming in and there's a new partnership right away. Or for those of you that have been maybe living together, there could be an engagement or a wedding. So. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and the situation involves marriage. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations and playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Now, I'm going to take out another card for that one because what I do feel... Yeah, okay, that's what I feel. Okay, so there is some type of chemistry. You know, maybe lust. You know, whatever it is. But what they showed me is that this un this is not, if this is unfinished business or someone from your past year, there's someone that's not loving you in the way, they don't love you in the way that you love them. And there is deception. So there is someone wearing a false mask in this relationship. Now, let's take a card out from Archangel Michael. Okay, this is for Aquarius from December 3rd to this, uh, no, what did I say 3rd for? December 7th to the 13th. Okay, you got three cards for you. So first one you got is energy healing work. That's your life purpose. Thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessing and for all those around me. Thank you for uh, connecting me to loving and uh, high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. Next card you got is have confidence in yourself, Aquarius. And this talks about Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize I am one with all that is divine wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. And last but not least, innocence. So the person that you're crying about is innocent. And uh, your prayer is, dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all and all others help me embrace my god-given innocence so that i may be at peace so i hope that you enjoyed your reading my beautiful aquarians don't forget to like i wish that they had a heart button though right but th thank you for um don't forget to like comment and uh, know that I have your back and that I love you. And this will pass. But trust me, what's coming for you is amazing. And this will take place now around your birthday time and 2021. So excited. So, uh, yeah. So I'll see you next week. And don't forget to go watch the All Signs. Bye.